In this video, we're going to be photographing the crested gecko's foot. Hello, my name is Stuart Wood, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be taking this picture here. This is a picture of a crested gecko's foot. Now, the gecko in question is Shade. The gecko has been featured before on this channel, so I thought I would bring it back in for another video. So at this point, I have never tried this type of image. So we are going to go through it together to find out if there's any issues that arise and how to fix those issues as we go along. So we're going to be building up this image as we go along. The equipment for this video is going to be the Canon EOS R with the Irix 150mm macro lens. Yep, I still have my hands on this lens. The lens was packed up and ready to be shipped off to Irix when they emailed me and said would I like to take a look at the 150mm cine lens. Um, yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be coming up in a future video. I'm going to be doing um, some videos with that and then we're also going to be doing a comparison between the photography lens and the cine lens what are the differences and which ones you should buy for your particular project now subscribe if you're looking forward to that one my idea is this is to have a piece of glass that shade can walk up on and we can photograph the uh, gecko and then a plastic container be behind because if we have just the uh, glass there's a very good chance that the gecko is not going to just stop on that glass so we're going to contain the gecko inside of that it can be like that, that way, there's a very limited area where the gecko can go. Now the important part here is that we only keep the gecko out of its enclosure for a very short time, five, ten minutes at the most. If we don't get an image by then, we'll have to try again later. We don't want to stress out the, uh, the gecko or any other animal for that matter for any length of time that is necessary. So first of all, I've got to clean this glass to make sure it's absolutely spotless. There we go. You can eat your dinner off that. So there we go. That's going to go there. And then we will have our little box behind. Now, an important thing to remember is I don't want to seal the box onto the glass because A, the gecko needs to breathe. And two, if it starts to get stressed out, I need to get it out quickly. So we're going to incorporate something expensive and heavy in order to hold the box in position like that. Because that's what we do on this channel. We use one and a half thousand pound lenses just to hold a scene up. Now this is going to be a challenging shot because we need to get light onto our gecko. At the same time, we need to cut down on the reflections. Now this can be made a lot easier if you've got a fish tank. But unfortunately, mine's currently being used to house plants and soil for my cine lens review. So we are now ready to take a test shot. So in order to do this, I need something on the inside of the glass that I can use to focus on. So these are just a little LED strip. What I'm going to do is stick it on this side of my glass because then I can have that inside of our uh, container. Then when we're being shaded, I can just move it out the way so we have a clean piece of glass. So let's bring in our camera. It is very dark, so in order to compensate for that, I can bring up my ISO. Let's just have a look at what that looks like to see if there's too much grain. So we can do it with 64,000 ISO, particularly on the EOS If you're using a, an older camera, you might not be able to get away with it. So you can put a flash on, but let me show you what happens if we put a flash on. Okay, so let's take a picture with the flash on. You can see the problems we're going to get. So that's the problem we are going to get with the flash. Basically, it's reflecting off the glass and back into our lens. I've adjusted my f-stop to 7.1. We are 1 16th power on the flash. So let's give that another go now. Because I really don't want that grain inside of my image. So that's cut down a lot on the reflection. We're still getting um, some bit lit up in the background. What I can do is fit one of these. This is a circular polarizer. And this can help to cut down on reflections in the glass. We're going to fit that now. So you can see in that image how it's cut down on the reflections just a little bit. So I think we are almost ready to bring shade in. So let's get shade out of the enclosure, bring the gecko in, and hopefully it will climb on the front glass here and not the back of the tub. 
there we have shade here. Okay. And we're going to place shade onto the glass. There we go. She's already in position. Let's get a picture quickly. We've got an OK image there. I'm pretty confident we can clean that up in Photoshop and reduce the black levels. So that's it from this video. I hope you found that enjoyable. I hope you got something from it. Again, experiment, but not with the gecko. Just experiment with some toilet paper that's scrunched up. Get the results that you want and then get your gecko out and photograph your gecko. If you like the video, click like, comment down below, let me know what you thought of it. And again, as always, from Shade and from me, we'll see you on the next video. Hello, my name's Not again. This is an image of a trek. This is a picture. Okay, so we're going to there's a little spot. There. If I bring up my eyes, that's, that's just that's it's very dark, and in order to compensate that, I can bring my eyes. It's very dark, so in order to compensate for that, I can bring up my eyes, my ISO. It's very dark. So come on then you, let's put you back into your enclosure. You can go hunting and uh, have a nice hopper as a thank you for cooperating.